We are forgetting that our futures depend upon the health and well-being of children and young people. We want a future for our children. That's what it's hurting. A child born today will face challenges that children of 20 years ago did not face. No country can afford to be complacent. No country is doing enough. The health of children everywhere is at risk. We can do more and we must do more. Together we're sounding a global alarm. The world's progress in supporting the health of children and young people has stalled. And it's our hope that this report will help to jolt people, government leaders, organisations into action. Once we go above 1.5 degrees, it's tipping points all the way, and we're in deep, deep trouble. This is not about polar bears. This is the future of our children. Climate change poses an existential threat to every child's health and future. When climate emergencies strike, children suffer the most. Fires, floods, air pollution, heat stress, destroyed crops, water and food insecurity. If the house is on fire, then it's emergency, it's urgency that can help us, nothing else. And what this commission is doing is focusing a beam of light on one aspect of the meaning of sustainability. Obesity is at its highest level in history. The number of obese children and adolescents has increased more than tenfold since 1975 to 124 million today. Increased 11-fold and going up? Why do our children see up to 30,000 TV ads a year on junk food and sugary drinks? There's now uh, credible forecasts which say that on existing trends, the full global cost of diabetes by 2030 will equate to 2.2% of GDP, of global GDP. This is a staggering figure. We have a lot of pressure coming from the industry. The mobilization, the commitment is not one day, it's for life. And then get onto social media. This is the Wild West. Do we want to leave everything, our children as commodities, in a big unregulated market? It's outrageous. Governments have to get real. They have to get real about the commercial determinants and they have to get real about the impact of the climate crisis uh, on people's health. Children's issues should be considered in all policy issues. It should be mainstreamed because it touches almost everything. We call for a revitalization of that global movement for children and young people. You are all invited to join that movement. Of course we all believe there's a future for the world's children, but it's only a good future if we take urgent action to secure that future.